Shalom, beloved. A word. The furnace of affliction. Many of us right now are in that furnace of affliction, but the Lord has a word for you today, beloved. The furnace of affliction is not to destroy you, but to refine you. And many of us in the midst of the furnace of affliction, we don't know what to do or what to say. When you're in that moment, the spirit of the Lord says, be still, be still. When you trust in the Lord, don't you remember, he said, when the enemy comes in like a flood, he'd raise up a standard against them. The spirit of the Lord would raise up a standard against them. The spirit will calm your mind. It will counsel you. It will cause you to remember what the Lord said, what his word said. Yes, yes, yes. We're talking about the Ruach Etza, the spirit of counsel, beloved. When you're in that furnace of affliction, when you don't know what to do and what to say, that's when we have to trust in the Lord. And when the Lord raises up a standard against the enemy that comes in like a flood, whether they be many or few coming in what they believe is power, the Lord is not a man that he should lie nor the son of man that he should repent of his words. No, beloved. That furnace of affliction is a refining fire. It removes all doubts because you have nowhere else to go but to the Lord. And he does not abandon his beloved. You have to remember the Lord chose Yasharel as his servant. And as we call on him and we remember his commands and his words, he counsels us. That spirit of counsel will come upon us. He will cause us to remember his word. And when we lean on his word and we follow he then gives us a spirit of understanding, which leads to the spirit of wisdom coming in. Yes, beloved, that furnace of affliction. You see, we are his beloved. And these heathens and these non-believers, they do not understand. Just because it looks like they're winning does not mean that's the end of the matter, particularly when you haven't done anything wrong to deserve what's come upon you. You might say to yourself, well, I got angry. But the word says even a wise man under pressure gets angry. But you guard your word and you hold your peace into the counsel of the Lord comes to you. His word is truly a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. He will tell us what to do. All we have to do is trust in him, beloved. There are those who assume they can curse you. They can keep you in that furnace of affliction, but the Lord has a plan for you because you are his servant. Beloved, Joseph was in the furnace of affliction. Jacob was in the furnace of affliction. Isaac was in the furnace of affliction when his brother Ishmael kept mocking and taunting him. If you can imagine an older sibling, we expect certain people in our lives to be a support, to be a guide to be a friend, to love us. But that's not always the case. And a lot of times when we need them the most, they abandon us, they, they join with the enemy. They begin to curse us. But just like Yahuwah told Balaam, you cannot curse what I have blessed, the people 
are blessed. You have people in the land because they hold high positions like Balak, the king of Moab. They think that if they use their silver, their gold, and their power, they can curse the people. But you cannot curse what God has blessed. What Yahuwah has blessed, you cannot curse. And what happens is when they try to curse you, they put you in that furnace of affliction. He turns it around. He turns it around. You have to remember what the devil means for our bad. Yahuwah turns it around for our good. All things will work together for the good of those that love the Lord, beloved. Yes, yes, yes. You have to remember when that enemy comes in like a flood. That furnace of affliction doesn't have one variable. It's multiple. But your eyes begin to be opened. You begin to understand how faithful Yahuwah is. When you trust in him, when you lean on him and how he spirit will counsel you and guide you. And as you follow his word, although you may not see immediate results, the Lord is working it out. He's in the secret parts. There is nothing hidden from his eyes. He hears all the conversations of the enemy. He sees all the attempts of the enemy. And though we think that we move about as we will, our steps are ordered by the Lord. He will guide your feet and bring you out. And there is no other path you can take to the blessing that is going to come to you in the middle of a furnace of affliction. Yes, beloved, yes. Those who curse us are inheriting their own curse. Just like Pharaoh thought that he would destroy the firstborn of Yasharel and nothing would come of it, Pharaoh thought he would drown the males, the strength of Yasharel and nothing more would come of it. But Pharaoh's strength, his army drowned. In the Red Sea. And the firstborn of Egypt. Not the firstborn of Yasharel. The angel of death. Rolled around and came for them. Be it man or beast. That curse. That they curse with. They are pronouncing. Their own judgment. He blesses those that bless us. Beloved. So while you are in. That furnace of affliction. Be still. And know that Yahuwah is with you. Though they may gather as a troop, look to the hills from whence cometh your help. There is an army, an angelic army, legions of angels that Yahuwah will send in to rescue you in the midst of that fiery furnace. And he will bring you forth a better person, a wiser person, a person closer to him, trusting in him, able to help others when you see them in that furnace of affliction. Yes, he will. There are times when you may lay upon your bed crying because the pain is so bad. He knows about your tears. Yes, he does. He knows and he is there. He does not slumber, nor does he sleep. He's given his angels charge over you to protect you wherever you go. Yes, he has. And remember, beloved, no weapon, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Even in the midst of that furnace of affliction. Not one hair on your head will be singed. Not even the scent of smoke shall cling to your garments. And you with your own eyes shall witness the sinner's reward. 
Those who curse you shall be cursed. And those that bless you shall be blessed. There is no riches in this world that can compare to the riches of Yahuwah Adonai. The riches of him, his righteousness, his truth, his equity. There is nothing this world has to offer that could make me trade him. In his land, where there's peace, where there is no pain, there's no sickness that he cannot heal. There's no trouble he cannot stop. And today, beloved, let the spirit of the Lord come upon you. Let that perfect counselor speak to you and trust in what he says. And then the spirit of understanding, the Ruach Binya, will come upon you. And the Ruach Chakma, the spirit of wisdom, as that counseling spirit of the Lord, the comforter, causes you to hear and to follow. The spirit of truth will testify to your spirit, leading you to all truths. Only believe. And right now, as you sit in that furnace of affliction, we still give God all glory. All glory. Because you are not consumed. Even though the flames are licking at your feet, you are not consumed, beloved. Yes, yes, that enemy has come in like a flood. But the spirit of the Lord has raised up a standard against them. And you are not alone. The angel of the Most High is with you. And the enemy does not understand. When Yahuwah said, touch not mine anointed and do mine profit no harm. They are touching the very apple of his eye. And it is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of the Most High Yahuwah. Know for a certainty, beloved. The Lord knows. He knows. Trust in him with all thine heart. Lean not on thine own understanding. His ways are not like your ways. His thoughts are not like your thoughts. So as we sit in this furnace, we are witnessing the sinner's reward and everything that they counsel to do to us is coming upon them. And when you come out, you shall come out as pure gold. All praise, honor, and glory to Yahuwah HaMashiach, to his salvation, all glory unto the Ruach Kakadesh. I, Adonai, I, Elohim, praise you, Father. Even in the midst of our struggles and our troubles and our afflictions, we praise you and thank you because we know all our helps come from the Lord. Glory, hallelujah, Father. Thank you for opening our eyes and giving us another chance to praise you and your holy word and your Holy Spirit. Thank you for you are a mighty counselor. Yes, he is. No, for certainty, beloved, the Lord is with you. All praise, honor, and glory unto Yahuwah. Beloved, it is a word. Shabbat Shalom.